Tonight on Market Call, David Burroughs, President and Chief Investment Strategist at Barometer Capital Management. He's taking your calls, emails, and tweets on North American large caps. Hello and welcome to Market Call tonight. I'm Mark Bunting. This is the Thursday edition. We've got David Burroughs here. As mentioned, North American large caps is the topic. You know he likes to invest in what's working right now. He looks for momentum. Uh, so uh, get your questions ready and you can here's how you can reach us through the email address, the toll free number or tweet us at Market Call. And good to see you, David. Great to be here. That's where we'll pick up. Speaking of tweets, uh, big news after hours with uh, Twitter announcing uh, an IPO, a confidential IPO. This is something that startups can do. If you have a, under a billion in revenue, you can, uh, you don't have to reveal your, and here's the tweet that they sent out just a while ago. You don't have to reveal your financials until 21 days before the roadshow. But beyond that, uh, Twitter finally uh, going to come public. What do you think? Well, look, they're, they're obviously capitalizing at a time when media in particular is doing very, very well. Uh, and behind media, digital media, even better. Uh, so There's a very strong space. There's lots of appetite. Uh, there are lots of recent successes, like Facebook finally capitalizing on their mobile uh, platform. So I think it's, it's, the window is open, and there's appetite for it. It's going to be very interesting to see what the numbers look like. And uh, I guess you need to see the numbers, obviously, but is it something that may interest you? I think that you have to look at it. We're Facebook shareholders. We, we bought Facebook uh, about 60 days ago, uh, and certainly LinkedIn is performing particularly well. We don't own LinkedIn. Uh, listen, they're expensive companies, there's no question. It's a call on their future revenue opportunity. Uh, but uh, these are big disruptors, and I think you have to take a hard look at them. Twitter apparently has about a half a billion in revenue, half of that on mobile, half of that uh, desktop. Uh, all right, let's move along to uh, look at the markets uh, more broadly. Where are we now? Here we are in September. What are you seeing? Right, well, you know, in general, uh, August, September, two particularly difficult months of the year if you go back to 1950, uh, and we certainly have seen that in recent years. I would say that the market is behaving, you know, reasonably well right now. Uh, we've had a tremendous backup in long-term interest rates, like a 90% increase in long-term interest rates. Uh, against that, uh, breadth in the market has been reasonably robust, so lots of sectors are participating. Uh, there certainly are low correlations in the market right now, so certain industries doing well, certain industries doing less well. But there seem to be lots of opportunities, both in more economically sensitive groups that are benefiting from some of the slow improvement in the, in the, in the domestic economies, uh, but also some of those companies that, that uh, have an ability to raise dividends, which pulled back originally with the bond market, but are now seeing some flows in as people come from bonds into you know, a little bit more risk in equity markets, but for yield. Has your approach for clients or your strategy changed much in the last six months, given the higher rates? Well, our approach doesn't change, but the portfolios certainly have. We went from November of last year or, or October of last year owning a lot of interest rate proxies like REITs and utilities and pipelines to today still looking for yields but more specifically rising yields. You can offset inflation or sorry, offset rising rates. So things like financials, some of the industrials, some of the consumer discretionary companies that are benefiting from the slow improvement in the economy. So the portfolios look quite different. Uh, yields slightly lower, payouts lower but where payouts are rising. So would you say you've had a, a fair turnover uh, in percentage Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, the way I look at it is we, we always work at, it, we run a lot of income money, trying to make money against rising markets. And I think that the 20 year bond is down a little over 20% and we're sort of positive to five, 6%. So, you know, that I think is working. Okay, David, a short break here. We'll come right back. Uh, lots of questions lined up, of course, uh, for uh, David Burroughs on North American Large Cap. Stick around. <music> 